The Quad City Storm coming off a big win on Saturday, beating the Marksman 4 to 2 to even the series with Fayetteville. Now the Storm look to win today and against the Marksman and take the weekend. Let's go out to the Tax Slayer Center for the third game of the weekend. It's dog day at the arena between the Storm and the Marksman. Marksman looking to get on the board first and they're going to take the first lead of the game here. It's 1-0 Marksman. Still in the first, it's going to be a marksman on attack. It's going to be Ryan Mulder coming up with the save. It's still one nothing game. We go to the third period now, and it's going to be Vincent Budry scores the goal for the Storm. It ties the game at one. What a play by him. Still in the third, marksman looking to answer back, and they're going to do it right here as they get the goal. They take the lead two to one. Now, Eric, check this one out. A little over two minutes left in the third period. And we got a fight breaking out. We got fights there where it looks a little bit like Jerry Springer's scene out there. You think you can take Fist any of those guys? Are out. Yeah, I'm staying out of that one. You think you, you think you can do it? <laughs> Look at the refs trying to drag somebody off. The this enforcer. Is why, this is why we like minor league hockey. I tell you what. That's what I'm talking about, old son. There we go. <laughs> Quad City Storm coming up short in this one, losing three to one. Sports director Jay Kidwell caught up with the Storm head coach after the game. Here's what he had to say. Here he is, Coach Chesey, the man leading this Quad City Storm. And Coach, uh, your team, uh, two points this weekend, but you were in, to, in it into the final seconds on Friday and basically a tie game here late in the third here today despite uh, falling short here this afternoon. Yeah, uh, you know, Fayetteville's a very good team. They're uh, top of the league for a reason. Um, I love the way the boys competed this weekend. We're not far off from... Uh, you know, getting six points this weekend, but uh, those are the games, you know, on Friday night that you need to at least get a point going in overtime. Um, and then today it didn't seem like we had the intensity till late. What do you like from what you've seen from your guys this weekend? And again, that is uh, the front running team in the SPHL, Fayetteville, and, and you certainly gave them a run for their money here this weekend over these three games. Yeah, no, we, uh, we came for three more games down the stretch here. Um, you know, it could be a potential first round playoff matchup, uh, depending on where we end up and where they end up. So um, you always got to give them something to remember you by. Um, I think we did that tonight, which is great. But uh, uh, we got a week break here coming up, so hopefully the boys utilize it and uh, you know come back swinging uh, against Evansville.